Disgraced movie maker Harvey Weinstein was eating at a restaurant in Scottsdale, Arizona when this happened. Don't 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 do that, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're a piece of shit. Get the fuck out of here. Get your fucking ass out of here. You're a fucking piece of shit. And what would you do about it? Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. You can't do. Don't don't don't. Don't do that. Don't 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 do that, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, so there's a lot going on there. It was a little bit weird, but uh, he was the guy getting slapped, if that wasn't clear. Um, and so these guys come up to them while they're eating. There's been some drinking going on, you'll be surprised to find out. Uh, Weinstein decided not to call the police, and uh, Steve told TMZ that he'd had quite a bit to drink before he decided to confront uh, Weinstein. So the story gets even a slightly stranger. Uh, Steve apparently had sat down at the table uh, mm -hmm. with Weinstein and they had had a conversation for a while. Then they get up and then he decides to tell him he's full Push of shit. Push the cameras and, on. Yeah, and, and slap yeah. him. Yeah, so look, obviously don't assault people. Don't even assault terrible people who should have suffered legal uh, consequences and as yet have not, but might in the future. Um, it was a weird situation, like the guy that was sort of defending him, the one who like tried to slap at the camera, it's like, what are you gonna do about it? I don't know what that I don't know what that was. I mean, he knows he's with a guy. He knows what Harvey Weinstein has done. I guess that, that that's one of the things when you have a, a, a history like he does. All of the people, your friends, your family, how do they square what they know of you with what they now have learned about you and then continue to have fancy dinners with you? Yeah, if you're hanging out with Harvey Weinstein, I wouldn't go around challenging people to a fight. That's a really bad idea. Yeah. Okay, so now as to the physical altercation. Look, there's a a, a very understandable desire to shame him in public. Yeah. Uh, and especially because so far it appears that justice is missing. Th yeah. This guy has very credible allegations against him that he raped people and like barged into their house, ripped their clothes off, and raped them. Okay. So there does, at least as far as the allegations are concerned, there's not much ambiguity. Russell Simmons immediately is pursued by the authorities. Uh, others are, but Harvey's still, you know, going yeah. out to dinner in public. So there's frustration, and when you don't have justice, it, it gets sometimes, um, you know, acted out in this way. But mm -hmm. it's a bad idea overall. Yeah, no, like, I don't want to see that. So there's a couple of reasons why it's a bad idea. One, you can go to jail for assaulting him, so don't do that. Vigilante justice is always a terrible idea. That's why we have a justice system. That's why we would hope that it works. Um, but also, maybe the most important part is you don't want to create any sympathy for a guy like Harvey Weinstein. And it's a natural human reaction. Now, you remember uh, the person you felt sympathy for in Game of Thrones you never thought would happen? It was in this scene. Shame. Uh, Shame. I thought you were talking about Jamie Lannister. Yeah. Shame. <laughs> right? So, even the despised Cersei Lannister, mm -hmm. where she was spat upon and slapped and assaulted and humiliated in public, you felt a little bit of sympathy for her. Mm -hmm. Harvey's a monster, don't create sympathy for him. Yeah. And the minute you slap anyone in public, it makes people go, oh, yeah. you know, and so it, it doesn't help the cause. I know a lot of people are very justifiably enraged at the allegations against Harvey Weinstein. And justice system, it sounds like, Police on the West Coast and East Coast are looking into it, and yeah. you want to be careful and you want to do it right. But let's get a giddy up uh, in that in that uh, process. You just watched the video by the Young Turks, the home of the revolution. If you'd like to get the full show, come join us and become a member. Tytnetwork.com/join.